the golden spoon is a captivating 2022k drama that delves into the fascinating world of social disparity personal transformation and the magic of a golden spoon at its core it tells the tale of lee song chon a young man born into a modest family whose life takes a thrilling turn when he encounters an old woman wielding a mysterious golden spoon lee song chon is a relatable protagonist navigating the challenges of life in a prestigious high school where the wealthy elite reign supreme his character represents the resilience and determination that arise from humble origin the catalyst for the story's enhancement enchantment is the golden spoon this magical utensil possesses the power to swap life and it's wielded by the old woman with the flick of the spoon song chun and huang tae the son of the country's wealthiest businessman exchange destinies setting the stage for a roller coaster of events Song Chun's transition into the world of opulence is riddled with comedic mishaps. He stumbles and fumbles through his newfound life, providing moments of laughter and reflection. His adaptability shines through as he faces the complexities of privilege, but it's his intelligence and resourcefulness that set him apart. Yet, Golden Spoon is not merely a comedy of error. Song Chun's character development is at the heart of the narrative. He embarks on a journey of self-discovery, uncovering hidden talents, particularly in the realm of fine dining. What? No, it's not fine dining. His character growth is all in it, business and Well, I have to say, even as a role of a son, a brother, a lover. Beneath the surface, there is a mystery. The connection between Sung Chun, the golden spoon, the old woman, there is a secret. The story unfolds as the golden spoon delves into themes of social class disparity, identity, empathy, and humility. The relationship Sunshine forms while he is stay young provide insight into the impact of societal backgrounds and personal connections. Well, that's about from the Conference One. It's a K-drama that combines elements of magic, comedy, and personal growth. Lee Sung Chun ordinary boy to privilege he is just full of kindness intelligence and enigma surrounding him that makes him compelling character in this captivating story i'm not gonna spoil it for you but after this spoiler alert i am gonna talk about all the characters in this Korean drama, Golden Spoon. I really like this drama. It's something that's... I had to finish it right away. I had to continue to watch because it kept me on my toes. Let's start with the main guy, Sung Chun. Sung Chun is a student, high school student. in this rich high school with full of elite kids studying there i wouldn't say the kids are smart but he he is smart but he is poor his family has 100 million won debt bone sharks chasing after them they're not able to pay their monthly rent on time but he's smart he knows a little bit 
to make you know investment in stocks and other things and he's smart and he is interested in business to be rich if possible the heir of Dawson the company that's one he came across the golden spoon to switch pairs just to clear their debt he would come back right that's what he thought and he came across Joey in his sport time job well that's not when he really liked her but gradually they they grew a crush and you know like each other but that's not all about Song Chun. I, I feel like Song Chun is a very complex and well built character. Even when he is as Taeyang in the drama, the fact that he's Song Chun is never forgotten and he never forgets his identity and he always wants to help his family, his sister, and it's very sweet. And actually, one of my favorite characters is Song Chun. And Another one is Moon Ki Hyung, the person who is almost like a secretary but fights really well. And I had a good feeling that he had a crush on his sister. And you know, like the haircut scene was really cute. And I was like, oh, please, please, you should come and get together. To be honest, I'd be dead. But yeah, I really like that he would just. Uh, really good at fighting and you know loyal, smart, again understanding. Song Chan and Taeyang. Song Chan when he became Taeyang, well he's rich, but he had to prove himself to become the heir of the company. He had to he had to you know make a grand interest two things for the company that he has to prove himself to his dad that I can be the heir I can take care of this company and I really like he deserved it he deserved to be having the company you know managing this the talent he deserved it I really like Song Chan, who is there most of the time, but Song Chan. Next, you have Taeyang, the guy who's actually rich. His dad owns the company, Dosin, but he's not really smart and he's sort of timid. And he likes to read webtoons, he likes to draw, and he kind of is restricted he is restricted he, there's a lack of freedom in his life and he really wishes he could be Song Chan to do whatever he wants all right so even he hoped he could have been Song Chan doesn't feel a sense of belonging in his house it's it's a grand house but it's empty inside his mom passed away his dad does not act like his dad gets afraid and panic attacks sometimes with his dad he has a stepmom his mom passed away so he misses his mom a lot and he's not really interested in the business or the company and not interested to be the heir he's just carefree and we see that he is very persistent and competitive only when it comes to Chui, the girl he has a crush on. And his fiance, later on ex fiance. Okay, now let's go to Chui. Chui also was triple. Her father was just like television company um, president now. Her name is not Chui. She said Mahal got suspended and 
the school in the US and then she came back here and she was working part time in the convenience store with Sung Chan. That's when she really developed a crush on him. And well I think her life really changed when her dad passed away and reality hit her in the suitcase with 500 million won she well it got lost and a lot of things happened and you know she suspected some chance and things happened they changed the relationships and things change you know 10 years things would change you're not gonna be the same person but she somehow got known that Taeyong is like the real song charm like you know his mood his body and it's unbelievable but but she somehow got know that that was really surprising because in the story like now I enjoy it you see her as a love interest of Sung Chun, like even if it's Taeyong and Sung Chun, but but later on she knows that you know this is the the real one, and she's really driven to find out the details about the her father and what happened in the house because that was cruel. And you know who did that? A very cool person with that. Okay. Before we go on to the cool person, let's talk about Oyunjin. Because Oyunjin and Najui are somehow related. Because Oyunjin, Najui, and a girl named Jongna were friends when they were kids. And Oyunjin actually used the golden spoon. She's actually Jongna. She came inside Oyunjin's, um, like she switched places with her, and the real Oyunjin passed away, so now she's still not as Oyunjin. You somehow, in the beginning, I somehow just, okay, I didn't like the character in the beginning because she was really, you know, in it for the money. See me as sort of like, what, like a mean girl's cheek. Um, you don't see any good in her, right? Great. Uh, manipulative, calculative moves. Smart, again, but... Not something I liked, but later on you see that she's pure. And she's very caring, and she loves to help others. She's always willing to help. And the real Taeyong, Wang Taeyong, does not like Oi Jin. He's her feeling like you're cheap but Song Chun whether he's Song Chun who's poor or Song Chun as Kong Taeyong you know having money behind him always really sweet to Oyan Jin because he's a pure guy you know, a very very sweet character and uh, you also see Oyan Jin is a person who's very Pure in the sense that she likes Song Chun as a person, not for the money, for the character. And though she developed romantic feelings towards Song Chun, and he could not reciprocate the feelings to her, she's been a great person. Uh, I don't know if I could call a friend, maybe a partner. And someone who could he could fall back to in 10 years, you know, who could understand the pain. Not because of the golden spoon. It comes back to the golden spoon. So th- the golden spoon is very important because you could relate the golden spoon to each and every character. Then you have Taeyong's dad. Oh my god, this guy, this guy from the beginning. You think that he has the money and everything and then in the end you just get to know that this guy is not the guy who you think he is oh my god 
he also used a golden spoon and he switched with Guan Yohan who actually should be having Toshin the company and Guan Yohan is the father of Tao. This guy this guy just like switches things. I mean wait, Guan Yohan is not the dad of Tao. It's it's Tao. like the real one is Tao. But you know this guy switches and you know he killed him because he wants the company. Well Yo Yo Guan Yohan is not really smart in sense you know company wise it is um one minute what sorry the real Guan Yohan who's like Taeyong right now okay he's smart and you know he always helped the actual uh, Mr. Taeyong well they, we'll call him Mr. Huang the guy who passed away or who knows who was killed by the current Taeyong dad in the drama. So <clears throat> Mr. Huang is the person who passed away. He's more closer to arts and he you know he's not really smart, he's not really business oriented, he's not really has the thing for the money and the business. And uh, Taeyong's dad and the drama. He's the one who's always, you know, giving suggestions, you know, acting like a secretary, like, dude, you should do this. Company's kind of cool. Do this is a good thing. And you have a Jap, you're meeting with the Japanese uh, members and always, you know, assisting him. This guy doesn't give a shit. And he used the Grim's Golden Spoon. And now there's no more Mr. Huang. Mr. Huang is dead. Killed him by Tang's dad. And yeah, he killed him to have the company. And this was shocking. I'm like, oh my god, this guy was poor. No wonder. Song Chun mom said, even though you have all this money, you still seem poor. What's even surprising is he murdered President Na, Najui's dad. Oh my god. And he framed it on. Well, his son, not really his son, but technically his son and his brother-in-law or his real son. Okay, this is interesting. So you have Taeyong's stepmom. She you always see her like, you know, having piano recital. She plays piano. And she does not like Taeyong to be the heir of the company. She wants her brother to, you know, quotation brother. Brother is actually her kid. She had a kid with Guan Johan. Okay. The guy does not know about this because you know he switched back to uh being the person who was the company. He's no longer Guan, he's a Huang and he does not know that this is his kid until the end and it's really surprising seeing that uh, thinking that you know it's it's not his kid but it, it is his kid if you think about it and it's surprising because all Taeyong's brother-in-law wanted was parents. One of the mom, he wanted a dad, and they were both there, but they weren't there for him as a mom and as a dad. The brother-in-law was violent, and, you know, he shot in the school with guns. He killed the kids when he was studying in a school back in the U.S. It was all blamed on Taeyong. This is why he has panic attacks at times, and when he, he sees red liquid on the floor, you know, it could be blood or wine, he just gets panic attacks and really anxious. The brother-in-law is also hungry for power, and he wants the company, he wants to own it, he wants to have it. He obeys Mr. Huang at all times, and 
ended up getting in jail but was not bailed out and this whole mess happens and that's when he kills some chance dad no that's when i'm like you kill like anybody else i don't really care but kill some chance dad that was the last you know song chun star had song chun and he got to know that it was actually song chun and taehyung's body because he got the golden spoon from oh ye chun and then he ate a meal with that and he got the memories of song chun and he felt really guilty and ashamed that he couldn't help his son he couldn't be financially stable for his son to enjoy his life a little bit and he had a last meal saying after this you know i'm this is no longer my son like sungjun who's young is going to be my son and they were just parting ways and this dude kills him and i was i was really sad Why? Why is this happening? This is happening. Sometimes parents are very humble. Even though they're poor, they're very humble. They're very hardworking, and they only deserve the best. They only deserve the best. And like this, ten years pass away. And you know what's the worst thing? Ten years pass away, and. you can like switch in 10 years like you could switch in after you eat three meals like in a month and then in a year and then 10 years and then the second rule is that on your birthday if you see your parents you would switch back and then the third rule which is the secret rule is when the person who has a spoon so suppose it's song chan spoon somebody eats from the spoon they would get all the memory song chan right so what's what's crazy is all this happening it's going to be 10 years and song chun's like i'm just going to suffer this sin of choosing to be taeyong you know having the rich life and he decides he's not going to meet the grandma the old woman who gave the golden spoon and he goes back home and he drinks mango juice and he literally passed away this blood from his mouth it's it's just really it's seen to watch and i was like oh, he's dead like wait is this really like is this what's happening he's dead i couldn't believe that that he's dead and that's when i realized this K-drama, it's the golden spoon. It has the best plot, the best character, the best story, and the best climax, the best you know, rising action, and then the best, the best ending because they have the best twist. Always a twist. You could, I could never predict it. I could never predict it. It was something. I was like, oh, so like this guy would be in jail, right? And he's gonna rot in jail, but no. Like there's always a twist, and you can't predict them. It's unpredictable and shocking and mind blowing and just oh my goodness! Because there was a gardener boy in the story, and he somehow gets the gold spoon, and he eats three meals, manages his way somehow, and he switches with Song Chun, who's in his thing. So now Song Chun is the gardener, and The gardener is Taeyong, and he passes away. And glad that the real Sung Jun is still alive, and things are going on. He is near a beach, but he's still investing, you know, financially in stocks and things. Because, like I said, Sung Chun, 
He's rich or he's poor. He's smart. He's really smart. See it. No matter, you know, in as Songchun or his Taeyang, he's always smart. And he's got that. And I love that. And and I also love how he's very ready in coming up with strategies and situations. And I love the friendship between him and Monkey Hyung. Like how he had to go back to the US and he came back like a guy who's just drinking all the way with girls all the time, you know, in Vegas and uh really, you know, like party all night. And he wasn't he came with the great plan. There's always something you could never think of. Like his whole visual being changed. And I I could never think of something like that. Always something you could never think of. It's like what? Oh my god! Like always, I got for all the time, and the twist, the twist, like golden spoon or something, really good. And I really want a season two of this, and the characters. The storyline, the plotline, everything is freaking good. I love it, and it was such a good experience watching this. I seriously love this.